What's up everybody? Derek Lambert here and uh, it's freaking cold out here in North Carolina right now. Hit that like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, check out the description. All right, so three and a half, almost three and a half years ago, I was at drug addict's house, if you will, multiple drug addict's houses because I was kicked out of my own. I'd kicked my own door into my own house, stole my own TV that I bought my kids for the Christmas before and pawned it and then returned it back. I had this crazy, vicious lifestyle where I just couldn't handle um, the, the, the using of heroin. It had com completely uh, consumed me. That being said, I ended up... Uh, I ended up at a at a house where I was calling my mom trying to make up some crazy ass story that some drug dealer was going to end up killing me and all this and that and he had fronted me this money and all this crazy stuff. I said uh, he's got my ID, he has my address, he knows exactly where I live and that if I don't give him his money then, uh, then we're going to have real problems. So finally after all the lying and stuff that I'd done, I'd convinced mom to give me 140 bucks, but she wouldn't give it to me. She would give it to Kurt, and Kurt, by the way, was fighting this battle too, trying to get clean at the time, and he hasn't been successful. So mom thinks, you know, I'll hand $140 to Kurt, like that's gonna make a difference. And me and Kurt end up going to the same guy and we get straight. And I remember Kurt, he was so sick because he was wanting to use so bad, didn't feel good. He was puking out of the out of the car while we were driving down the highway. And uh, we got fixed, we got our fix, and I had promised mom and all of that. It was like I kept my word for once by saying, look, you get me straight and I'll go to this lady's house and try and give this thing a chance. I brought my book bag with me, which had, I would say, two and three months worth of syringes, old syringes, just in there. And I mentioned this in my uh, video early on in recovery where I talked about my last time using. Well, I was at this lady's house in the bedroom and the pain started kicking in about a day and a half, two days into recovery or into trying to detox. While I was in the room, I took these old spoons, and or not old spoons, but these old, old cottons and old syringes, and literally emptied the contents into the spoon. Just black chunks, like brown and black old blood. And uh, I put it into a spoon, added water, pretty much tried to use what I thought would give me a buzz or make me feel better. And I had probably, I don't know, I'd say 12 to 15 syringes that I was using and cottons and all that. I double filtered it by putting it through another cotton and pretty much sucked up this nasty colored liquid into the spoon and into the syringe and shot it up and thought it would do something. And all of that didn't do jack diddly squat. It literally didn't do anything. I had shot up old blood that didn't do shit for me. It was a dark place because that same night, I felt the worst pain I had ever experienced in my life trying to come off of the heroin. And that was just my heroin example, but that was the last time I had ever shot up and I thought I would get high and I didn't. I shot up all this nasty old corregulated, I think it's called, blood and um, it didn't do jack shit for me. I took ibuprofen and that was it. I didn't touch a chemical sense. I started to have weird premonitions, if you will, weird spiritual experiences as I like to call them. Uh, weird coincidental experiences that led me to where I am today. So. I wanted to kind of tell you my last time all over again so you understand I was in a dark place. I was so desperate to try and get something out of it that I used old blood from old syringes and uh, sure enough, I didn't get shit out of it. It was all a waste. All that effort into a waste of not getting anything from it. 
So I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Website's being launched soon. And uh, everybody's affecting hundreds and hundreds of people a week. Check out the Discord as well. Free conversations back and forth. We're having a good time in there. I love y'all. Goodbye.